it's Megan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you're returning, welcome back. Today we're going to do a reformer workout, just focusing on our upper body, okay? So we're gonna work on our back, our shoulders, triceps, biceps, work on um, stabilizing our scapula. So this will be a great, um, I'll try to keep it under 30 minutes, quick workout. Um, it's prenatal friendly. I am 20 weeks this week. It's super exciting. I'm halfway there. I cannot believe it. Um, it's flying by, especially with your second. So that being said, we are just going to, um, no props. We're just going to use our box or our long box. If you don't have a box, that's okay. You can just do this, um, the part that we're on the box you'll see on the reformer. Um, the reason why I'm choosing the box for these certain parts, um, just so we can get more range of motion, more tension on the strap. But if you don't have a box, these are totally doable on your reformer. So let's get started. I'm going to start with one light spring, so one blue spring, okay? Um, the bar can be up or down. I don't know why I did that. But I'm going to have one blue spring, and we're now we're going to start on our box. So you want your box by your reformer flush against the side of it. So really push it up against your reformer and have it about right to where the um, shoulder block is. Okay, so the start will be right at the shoulder block. So we're just gonna go ahead, walk your knees all the way back. I'm just gonna do a nice little cat-cow stretch, working some shoulders real quick. So rock your knees all the way towards the back. So use the length of your box here. And we're just gonna place our left hand. So I am on the right side of my reformer and I'm on my left hand on the shoulder block and my right hand onto the box. See how I'm um, hyperextending that elbow? I'm super guilty of this. Slightly bend, guys. Try not to do this. You'll, I see it often in my videos and I'm really like on my case about it. So slightly bend here, okay? Knees back, hip distance apart. And from here, we're just going to push that in and out really quick, just kind of warming up. Think about engaging that core, especially if you're pregnant. Hug that baby. Bring that tongue, those um, stomach muscles up towards your spine. Find that transverse abdominis. So that's the girdle muscle that wraps around our core. Keep that activated here the entire time. Reach that crown of that head long. Kind of tuck that tailbone. We're not pushing or arching that butt back. So nice, long, neutral spine. From here, we're going to add on. We're just going to Extend that right leg out. So opposite leg, opposite arm. If you're super pregnant here and you don't feel comfortable doing this, keep your knee down. But if you aren't and you're strong and you're feeling good, extend that opposite leg. Just focusing by um, adding that leg. We're really challenging our core muscles here, our balance. Push out. Ref um, refrain that carriage coming in. So really feel that back muscle or scapula really activating here. And so now we're gonna reach out, and as we come in, we're gonna bring our knee into chest, rounding that spine, and back out. Good. So a little bird dog here, cat cow, whichever you wanna call it. So really think about extending when you come out really stretching that spine. And then as you come in, really rounding that spine, tucking the nose, pushing through that arm. Good, use that breath. Let's go for three. Two. Exhale. Last one here. Come on in and extend out. Good. Slowly bring that carriage back in. Good job, guys. We're going to stay there. We're going to stay on that light spring. Now we're just going to grab our strap closest to us. So, a couple options here wherever you're comfortable. You can kneel on your box. You can sit back towards your heels. You can sit crisscross applesauce. Or what I'm going to do, I'm going to have one knee on and one leg off. So I'm kind of in this like kneeling position, Captain Morgan, whichever. And I'm gonna have, I'm actually gonna choke up, but I'm gonna choke up on that D ring. So know that D ring, I'm gonna put my fingers into that ring. Just so I can get more range of motion here, depending what reformer you're on, how old your springs are, you can play around um, with the straps or if you wanna choke up on that. From here, we're just gonna focus on that back. So let's bring our shoulders back, head over our shoulders, shoulders over our hips, engaging that core, 
We're going to flip our palm facing up, hand on your hip, and we're just going to go into an underhand row. So you want to keep your elbow here very narrow. So as you bring it in and out, feel that arm brush up against your rib cage, and then slowly release back. So hold it for a minute. Feel that um, scapula, feel the serratus, really activate, and then release. Good, use your breath, fill up those lungs with air, and then release. Try not to arch the back, especially on that pool. Try to keep everything stacked. Good, hold it for one, two, three, and release. Still engaging that core. Pull, hold it, one, two, three, and release. Shoulders out of ears here. So really try not to hike that shoulder up. Pull it down, feel the scapula blade pull down. Good. Let's just do three more here. And then we're gonna switch the position of our arm. And then exhale. And then down. So now let's flip the palm facing down. And now we're gonna come into a high elbow row here, okay? So now I'm gonna pull my arm up. So now you can see my elbow's coming out wide and then releasing back. So same thing here, shoulder out of your ear. Really think about pulling that shoulder blade down, the scapula blade down, and having it glide back, and then coming in. So you try to keep your arm up at shoulder length here to really challenge. So not only are we working into that back, you're gonna feel that shoulder start activating. And like I said, if the D rings too much tension for you, and you're like really struggling to do this, no, that's not the move. So really move back. Come back to your straps, okay? Let this be a nice fluid motion. You should get full range of motion here. You should bring able to bring that arm all the way back in line and then back in, okay? So if you're struggling, go down in springs, go down with the strap, whatever works. So now we're going to combine the two. So let's flip the palm down, I mean back up, and then flip it down into a high elbow. So we're just combining the, the rowing and then a high elbow row. So adjust the two back and forth, don't rush it. Still have slow and controlled movements here, engaging that core. Let's go for five, four, three, Two, and last one. Good job, guys. So hold on to that rope, and then we're gonna bring our knees back onto our box. Now, I'm gonna go to my long strap, if you have that option. Just so I'm gonna get more range of motion here, we're gonna hit some triceps. So we're just gonna walk our knees back, lengthen through that spine, hand comes down. Um, you can position yourself where you're comfortable just to get range of motion here. So we're gonna bring our arm up towards our body and we're just gonna bend at that elbow joint. So keep your arm up and just bend at that elbow. So feel those triceps. So this is why I said go to your strap here because it can feel a little heavy. If you want, you can move up just a little bit just so you can get more range of motion. Good. Try to keep that arm up and just bend at that elbow. We won't be here for long. Five. Four. Three, two, and one, come on in. Whew, good, so we felt that, so did I. Go ahead and put your strap down now, guys. We're still gonna stay on to this side. So, now, no strap, we're gonna bring our knees all the way back towards the back of our box now. So we're really gonna use the length of that box. And now I'm gonna place my right hand onto my reformer, right next to my shoulder block. And I'm gonna have my left hand onto my box, okay? You wanna make sure they're right under your shoulders here. And now let's release, I mean, sorry. Now let's um, extend, my bad. We're going to extend our leg that's closest to our reformer. So that is my left leg. I think I'm saying these wrong. <laughs> 
My left hand is on the reformer and my left leg's extended. My right hand is on my box. I'm sorry guys if I got that mixed up. Pregnancy brain. From here, push through that hill, okay? So you're gonna feel that leg get a nice stretch in the back of that leg. Make sure your knee's right under your hip and from here, you're gonna push that carriage out. And as you push it out, you're gonna bend your elbows. Come into a nice tricep push up and back up. This is a very slow and controlled here. You're sawing out with that left arm, and as you're doing that, you're bringing your chest towards your box, bending both elbows and back up. So use that weight of your reformer to help you saw out and push through those hands to come back up. So you should feel those triceps fire up and it's a slow movement down, elbows come down and then back up. Nice strong shoulders here, really press through those hands, don't sag into your shoulders. Good job guys. Use your breath, engage that core. It's not a fast movement. Let's go for three. Use that exhale as you come up. Two. And last one. Both elbows down. And then bring it on up. Good. So I'm hoping that you were able to engage what I was talking about there. So think of a nice tricep push-up where our elbows are narrow and you're just bending at that elbow joint and then you're pushing up through those hands. So you're working the back of the arm. So that's initially what we were just doing right now. One last exercise on this side and we'll move on. So both hands back where they're at and now we're gonna extend both legs out. So now we're gonna come into a plank. If you are super pregnant here, or your postpartum with DR, you can um, just kind of keep both knees down. I wouldn't come into a plank, depending how strong you are in the core, if you don't feel comfortable doing this. Go ahead, press both feet back, press through those heels, feel the back of those legs fire up. Just hold that plank. This is good enough for you to stay here. If you want more, you're just gonna saw that left arm in and out. You're just keeping that arm straight. You're not bending at the elbow and your right hand is just stabilizing you. Press through those heels, feel those core muscles activate. Lift up on that core, stomach to spine. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Come on down. You can place your knees down and you can just take a quick little child's pose. Awesome. So now we're going to come off of our box and come onto our reformer. And now we're going to place, we're going to switch gears here. So I'm going to take my blue off, my one light, and I'm going to go to one heavy spring. So one red spring for me. So just one spring, one heavy. We're going to sit on our reformer facing that back wall. Um, we're going to grab both straps. A couple options here depending um, how comfortable you are. If you're comfortable enough to sit back onto your, um, to have your legs extended and through the headrest, perfect. If this is too much for you or if you're pregnant, it hurts your hips, grab a pillow. You can sit crisscross, you can sit on your knees, whatever works for you, okay? From here, let's go ahead, grab our short straps. We're sitting up nice and tall again, guys. Head over shoulders, shoulders over our hips. Stack that spine. And then from here, we're just gonna pull out to a T and back in. So very slow and controlled here. Same thing, my arms are gonna stay up at shoulder level. I'm pushing my shoulders out of my ears. I'm not like this. Really pull them back. Good, and can, uh, resist that carriage coming home. Pull back, hold it, and then resist. Good, still engaging that core. Don't let it hang. Good job, guys. Stay strong. The challenging part here is really keeping our arms up at that shoulder level. So we're working into that back still, but really working into those shoulders as well. So a lot of muscles working here. 
So don't forget, use your breath. Our breath is so important. It really gets us through these exercises, fills up our lungs, gets oxygen to our muscles. Let's go for four, three, two, and last one, come on in. Good, we're not done, we're gonna stay here. And now we're just gonna open up to a diagonal T. So think of like an alligator mouth and back in. So just pull to that T. So these are very classical Pilates moves. Bringing it back to our classic moves. Shoulders should be pretty much on fire at this point. If we're still moving really slow and controlled. Good. Keep breathing. Pulling out to that diagonal T and in. You can see that my rib cage is rotating towards that diagonal, but my hip bones are staying squared to in front of me. Good. Let's go for five. Resist that carriage coming in. Four. Three. Two. And last one. Come on in. Whew, and shake it off. Good job, guys. Ooh, I'm definitely feeling these. Hopefully you guys are too. We are not done back here. So shake it off for a second. And when you're ready, we're gonna place our arms in our straps for a nice open elbow, okay? So from here, long straps, okay? So you're gonna place it right above our elbows. We're gonna come right up to, like um, you're holding a book or you're reading a book. It's coming right in front of you. Nice L's up at shoulder level, and from here we're gonna pull back. Keep your hands to your peripheral vision. You're not coming back too far, so you wanna be able to still see them, and then slowly release in. Same thing here, pull your shoulders out of your ears, and your scapula is coming down, okay? Try not to pinch it, we're not pinching. So if you're arching your chest forward, and you feel like your um, arms are really trying to come together, that's not the work here. Just pulling back and then releasing. Nice, strong, open chest here, but we're not arching it forward. Good. Use your breath, keep your arms up at shoulder level. You guys got it, keep breathing. Let's go for five. Four. Three, two, the last one here, guys, stay open. Now you're doing a little pulses up. The carriage is going to move very slightly, nothing too big. Keep your arms up at shoulder level and pulse it up. Whew, feel it, burn. Breathe, guys, we're almost there. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Come on down and just kind of... Take a nice flexion over, and slowly step that spine, roll those shoulders back. Good, almost done, I promise. Good, we're gonna come back to our short straps here. We're just gonna hit some biceps. So short straps in hand. If you're comfortable enough, especially if you're pregnant, we're just gonna come back into a nice little roll back. Nothing too crazy, not a deep sea curve. I'm really just rolling back onto my tailbone, that's it. I'm not putting uh, any pressure onto my abdominal muscles. I'm just rolling back to that nice C curve or a little tiny curve onto my um, tailbone. And yeah, but if this feels uncomfortable for you, just stay stacked. It's totally fine. If you're not, come back. And from here, we're going to bring our arms up at shoulder level and bring it in and release. So really focus here, keeping those arms up at shoulder level. The higher the arms are up, the more challenging this is, the more tension on those straps, okay? So you're pulling it in towards your face and then releasing. Try to keep your arms right in front of you, elbows pointing forward. You're not out to that side, okay? Good job, guys. Keep going. Good, let's go for two, 
Last one. Now you're going to come in that nice L shape here, okay? Keep your carriage still. See if you can pulse those arms up. Keep that carriage still. You can see my carriage is not moving. My arms are still up at shoulder level, and I'm just pulsing up little pulses for three, two, and one. Back out. Another set of those biceps. We are almost done with these, I promise. Engage that core. Slow and controlled. Don't rush it. Let's go for three, two, last one. Same thing, little pulses. Carriage doesn't move. You got it, guys. Breathe through it. I'm struggling just as much as you are. It is burning. For five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Go ahead and just relax. Good job. We can put our straps back. Roll out those shoulders, and now let's grab our box and go to that other side and do the same exact thing that we did with this side. So I'm going to grab my box, and I'm going to line it up with my shoulder blocks. I'm going to push it flush against my reformer, and I'm going to go back to that blue spring and take that red spring off, okay? So one blue spring only. And then from here, let's go ahead and grab, sorry, let's start from the beginning. I'm like, what can I remember? We're going to bring our arms back, our knees back, sorry. Now my right hand is onto my shoulder block, and we're just going to push that carriage in and out. So think about trying to have that arm pretty narrow against your body, rubbing, sliding against the rib cage as you bring it in and out, filling that scapula, pull down. Good, control that movement. Good, keep breathing. And when you're ready, let's go ahead and extend that opposite leg. So left, my left leg's extended, my right arm's in front, and then as we bring it in, I'm gonna round my spine, bring my knee to my nose, and then push up, really stretching through that crown of that head, get that nice stretch of that spine. Keep your eye gaze at the floor the entire time, especially when we push out. I'm not lifting my head up like this. My head's in line with my spine the entire time. Good, so this should feel like a really nice stretch for you, really stretching our spine, getting a nice extension, flexion, Good, let's go for three. Two. And the last one. Bring it on in. Good job, guys. So now I'm gonna grab my strap and I'm gonna do the same exact thing that I did on that side. So I'm gonna have my left foot off the box, whatever you did on that side. Continue on this side. I'm going to choke up on that D spring, a uh, D ring. Engaging that core, stacking my spine, everything stacked on top of each other. Flip the palm, and I'm just going to start with those underhand rows. So same thing. You can see that my arm is very narrow towards my body. Okay, it's practically. Uh, rubbing against my, um, sliding, sorry, against my rib cage. You want to keep it that narrow. Pull the scapula blade down as you pull back. Hold it for a second and then release. Remember, shoulder out of ear. You don't want it hiked up like this. And like I said, if you're still like struggling to pull in, you're like, you, you find yourself kind of like doing this, either the spring's too heavy or you need more tension or less, um, you need more onto your uh, tension, less tension, sorry, and go ahead and take, grab onto your um, strap. Good. So a few more here, and then we're going to flip that palm, and we're going to go into that high elbow row. In three. In two. And one, good. Now flip that palm down, and let's just go right into that high elbow row. So 
Same thing. Now you just want to make sure that arm's coming up at shoulder level and then releasing. You're still finding that back muscle, squeezing into it and slowly releasing, okay? Resist that carriage coming home. Don't let your carriage just kind of pull from that um, a spring. Good. Now we're going to combine the two. So now flip that palm. So underhand row, slowly release, flip that palm, high elbow row. Still engaging that core. Never dome our tummy muscles. Never push it out. Always engage, especially if you're pregnant. So um, I really think I want to kind of do a video on just for kind of my prenatal mamas um, and also postpartum core exercises and really um, uh, getting in tune with how our core muscles work, especially if you have DR or if you're carrying and you're uh, pretty far along in your pregnancy. So I'll get into that later, but I think I'm going to do a video. I think that'll be helpful for all of us. Let's go for two. And last one, slowly release. Good job, guys. So let's bring both knees back on. I'm going to switch to that long strap. We're going to hit those triceps. So I'm just going to kind of come up a little bit more. This is a little heavy for me here. So from here, bring my elbow. You can see it's right by my side. Tuck the tailbone. I'm not arching that butt back. And now I'm just going to push out and in. So my arm stays up, and I'm just bending at that elbow joint. <sighs> Try to get full extension back. Let's go for five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Come on in. Good. Let's put that strap down. And now, I just want to make sure I'm staying on track here. We're going to walk our knees back. And we're going to place. Now we're going to go into that um, uh, tricep push-up into that plank push Okay, so we're going to place our right hand onto our performer, right by the shoulder block, left hand back. Now I'm going to extend my leg that's closest to my carriage here, okay? And I'm going to push through that heel. So feel that back of that leg get a nice stretch. So if you push your heel down, you'll feel um, the back of the leg stretching out here. From here, remember, we're going to push that carriage out with that right hand. And as we push, we're going to bend at the elbows, bringing our chest down towards our box, and then press through that hand back up. So these are very slow and controlled. Really try to find the muscles that we're engaging. We are trying to work those triceps. So when you push out, elbows stay narrow, and you're just bending the elbows till they hit that carriage, and then press through that hand as that carriage comes back home. Push that heel back, so we're really trying to keep that spine long, get the back of the leg stretch, and work those triceps. A lot going on here, so this is very slow and controlled. Keep that core muscle, our core muscles tight. Hug that baby or bring that stomach in towards your spine. Let's go for three. Two. And last one. And come on in. Good. All right, guys. So now let's go ahead and go into that planking move that we did before. And if you were comfortable doing it, go ahead. And if you weren't, just skip this part, okay? So we're going to place our hands are back in that same position. We already had our left leg, sorry, our right leg out that's closest to our reformer. Now we're going to reach our other leg to meet that leg. So now we're in a full high plank here. Press through those hands, slight end, bend in that elbow, push those heels back, hug that um, baby if you're pregnant, pull those stomach muscles in towards your spine, and now we're just gonna saw that right arm in and out. Both arms stay nice and straight here. We'll slight bend in the left elbow, but my right arm that's sawing in and out, that stays straight, I'm not bending. This is not a tricep dip or tricep um, push-up. Let's go for five. You got it, guys. Stay strong. Four. 
and this is too much, just hold that plank. Three, two, and one. Come on in and just take a nice little child pose. Good. So we are almost done here. I just realized I'm probably going to go over 30 minutes, but what can you do? Um, we're not, we're almost done. So just one, a few more exercises facing the front of our hair. We're going to hit some chest and um, pecs. So now I'm going to switch back to my red spring. So one red spring, take your blue spring off, just one red spring. And now we're going to grab both of our straps. And your foot bar can stay down if you had it down. I don't know why I keep messing with it. It's just kind of like, <laughs> but I'm, we're not doing anything with our foot bar. So now you have bow straps in your hand. You have the option to go um, short or long. I'm going to go short straps. You have the option here to sit down onto your bottom to be kneeling like this, or you can come into um, kneeling. Sorry, this was sitting back towards your heels. So if you want to, you can come kneeling. So I'm going to come kneeling, see how I feel. If it gets too much, maybe, um, actually, ugh. I'm going to kneel and I'm going to have the long straps. Just so I can just tell it's going to be a lot of tension for me. And I don't want to put that tension on my core muscles. So if you're pregnant and you feel your tummy really doming out, go less into your springs. You, that's the worst thing you can do. Really avoid doming our uh, stomach muscles. Even if you're not pregnant, but especially for our pregnant mommies. That is going to, we really want to try to avoid the separation of our abdominal muscles. Okay, so now up from here, we're just going to come right into offering. So bring straight forward and straight back. Sorry, just straight forward and straight back, not offering yet. So my arms are very narrow and they're just gliding against my body here. So I'm bringing them forward and resisting that carriage coming back. Good. Try to keep your body stacked here. Same thing, head over shoulders, shoulders over, hips. You're not pushing your um, body forward and you're not arching that butt back. Let's go for three, two, Last one, now we're going to open up to that T, back forward and down. So now we're just going to combine these two moves. So we're still going to have the arms reaching straight forward, but now open to that T, hands stay in your peripheral vision, back in front and down. Good. Just like that. Try not to bring the arms back too far when you're opening up to that T. You don't want to come back this far, okay? This isn't right. Stay here. Good. Let's go for three. Two. And one. Come on down. Whew. Good. So if kneeling comes a little, um, gets a little more tension and a little harder, come down. So I'm going to come down because I'm just kind of feeling that a little bit more now. Um, so I'm going to sit back onto my knees here. Sorry, sit back onto my heels. Sorry guys if I am stumbling over my words. Oh, I'm trying my hardest right now. From here, let's come out to that T and now we're going to go into hug a tree. So from here, you just want to think of a nice little beach ball and release. That's it. Make sure your elbows are in line. Um, you don't want your uh, shoulders in your ears like this either. Pull them down. Think of the beach ball and then keep your arms in a peripheral vision so we're not opening up to here either. So in and back. Engaging those cores, those cores, engaging those core muscles. Good. Keep breathing, keep those arms up, don't drop them. Let's go for five, four, three, two, 
and one, come on down. Good job, guys. Go ahead and shake it off. We are almost done, but not quite. So from here, we're gonna have those straps in hand, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna come into triceps, but the way to get into that, we're gonna push our arms in front of us, and then bring them behind us. Keep our elbows narrow here. They're not up here, okay? And you're just gonna bend at the elbow, and um, straight forward. So find this in the elbows, not in the shoulders. So that's by just bending the elbows down, straight forward and straight back. Okay, and I'm not hinging forward too much. I'm just keeping that nice, long, neutral spine. And I'm keeping my elbows facing forward. Good. Engaging that core. Let's go for five. Four, three, two, and one, come on in. Good. Um, one more exercise here, okay? So stay um, wherever you are if you're, if you're kneeling, I would probably come back onto your heels and sit down, or it might be a little too much to kneel here, but it's up to you. If you're strong enough, good for you guys. From here, we're gonna grab our straps, we're gonna come into a nice little goal post position. Now we're gonna hit those shoulders and that chest. So from here, you're just gonna push forward and back. So nice goal post. So now your elbows are allowed to fall out to that side. So very wide elbows and then straight forward in front of you. You can put a little hinge into your um, hips here. So you're kind of hinging forward, not too far though. But yeah, so you're really just pushing nice and forward. Keep those arms up at shoulder level. Don't drop them. Good job, guys. Keep going. Exhale that push. Inhale as you come down. Pull those shoulders out of your ears. I'm right there with you guys. Really feel them start burning up. Good. Let's go for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come on out of that. Just hold your straps back and just open up that chest here. Take a nice deep breath. Good. Good job, guys. Go ahead and put your straps back. We are done. We are going to do a quick little stretch. So I'm going to stretch and do a mermaid stretch. So go ahead and keep it on that red spring. Go ahead and um, face the camera. Right hand onto your foot bar. Left hand out. When you're ready, you're going to press that carriage out. And you're just going to reach towards that right side, opening up that left side of that body, pull those shoulders back, okay? And then slowly come on in. Let's do that again. Push out and exhale. Pull those shoulders back, pull that tummy in. Good, from there. Now let's just go ahead and rotate both hands onto that foot bar. So now I'm rotating my chest towards those springs and I'm just gonna bend the elbows and come into some push-ups here, okay? Pull that stomach off your thigh. Don't let it hang. So really engaging that core. Let's go for three, two, and last one. Keep those arms all the way out. Now keeping the arms straight, you're just gonna hinge from the shoulder joint and just reaching that chest up, coming into a nice little cobra. Oh yeah, that should feel really good. Pull your head back with that nice back extension. And then when you're ready, push that carriage all the way back. Now your right hand will meet your left hand. You're gonna rotate your body back facing the camera and come on up. And now let's just take a stretch towards the other side. Pull the shoulders back. And good. So let's do that other side and we are done. The best way to get um, into that other side is just rotate towards the back 
and face the other side. So your legs will naturally fall into place, but if that's uncomfortable, walk around, no worries. Now my left hand is on my foot bar, my right hand is my free hand. I'm going to go ahead and push that carriage out, reaching my hand up and reaching over. Take an exhale here. Pull those shoulders back and come on in. Let's do that one more time. Let me cue it better. Reach your hand up towards our um, ceiling. Inhale here and then exhale as you push and flex over. Good, stay there. You're gonna rotate both hands onto your foot bar. Now your chest is facing your springs from here. We're just gonna bend at the elbow and we're gonna do some push-ups here, okay? Still, again, think about pulling that stomach off of your thigh, so engaging those core muscles. You're not just having it hang for two. And you want last one, keep your arms out. Straight arms hinge from that shoulder joint. Come into a nice little cobra stretch. Yes, feels so good. Pull that head back, get that nice back extension. This feels so good. I need to move my body like this. And then push that carriage all the way back out. Hands meet at the corner of the foot bar. We're gonna rotate our body back towards that wall. Hands come back up to the ceiling and let's just rotate towards the back of that reformer, hitting our other side. And come on in. Good job guys, if you need to stretch more, be my guest. But that is the end of our upper body reformer workout. Um, it was about 42 minutes. So I went over about 12 minutes. I wanted to keep it under 30, but what can you do? Um, thank you so much. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any comments, questions, or requests, leave it in the comment section. I will get back to you. Um, the next one, I'll do a lower body uh, reformer workout. And um, let me know who's pregnant out there. Who are my pregnant mamas that are watching this? Um, just leave it in a comment. I just really want to know who my audience is. And if you're not pregnant, if you are um, male, female, and you just like to take the classes. So I just really want to know who my audience is. Thank you so much, guys, and I will see you soon. Bye.